Hello guys today in this video, we are going to help you to find out the best OTA receivers in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check our links in the description below. Number 5. HD Home Run Connect 4K Plus Plex Live TV ATSC 3.0, or Next Gen TV as it's also known, is the latest and greatest version of free, over-the-air TV. When it's fully adopted, we'll see all of our favorite TV stations start to make content available in 4K resolution, with HDR video, and even Dolby Atmos for immersive surround sound. For a deep dive into its many benefits, check out our full ATSC 3.0 explainer. It's got four tuners so you can watch and or record up to four channels simultaneously. Speaking of recording, the HD Home Run Connect 4K has no built-in storage, so if you want to record, you need to sign up for Silicon Dust's HD Home Run DVR service, a $35 per year subscription that lets you save programs to a NAS drive, or a PC, and watch them from a variety of supported devices. However, we think that Plex Live TV is a more flexible option. Plex is an incredibly full-featured media server platform that organizes and lets you watch all of your music, TV, movies, and photos on just about any device you can think of. When you subscribe to the Plex Pass service, you get Plex Live TV, which can use the HD Home Run Connect 4K as a live TV source. The beauty of the Plex integration is that your Plex media server is the DVR, so no additional storage is needed, unfortunately, much more than with TiVo or Tableau, your Plex Live TV and DVR performance will vary based on your hardware and network. Because Plex clients don't natively understand MPEG-2 video, which the HD Home Run Connect 4K distributes from OTA signals, they must be transcoded to the H.264 format. Mac and PCs can handle this task effortlessly, but if you run Plex on a NAS drive, like the WD My Cloud Mirror we used for testing, you may find limited support for your Plex clients. The channel guide view can display up to two weeks of program info, if available for your region. Channel changes are similar to the Tableau, there's a distinct lag as the new stream gets going, and there's no way to watch one stream while hunting for another. Spending $200 on the HD Home Run Connect 4K and Say, a one-time cost of $120 for a lifetime Plex Pass, is not a bad investment when you consider it puts you way ahead of the ATSC 3.0 curve, especially if you've already got lots of Plex-enabled devices around the house and a dedicated Plex media server. But if this doesn't sound like you, or the thought of setting up a Plex server and using it to watch TV leaves you in a cold sweat, you should probably look at our other picks. Number 4. Sling Media Air TV 2 The Air TV 2 bears some similarities to our Tableau Dual Pick, with the same sort of inherent flexibility that allows you to stream local channels over your Wi-Fi, work alongside other devices like a Roku or Fire TV, and, of course, record your live local channels. As long as you're willing to attach your own external hard drive. But this model has another trick, it's especially friendly with Sling TV, and can seamlessly integrate with your Sling TV, showing your local OTA channels along with the streaming Sling channels, so you get everything in one spot. That's similar to what the Fire Recast does, but you don't need an Amazon subscription for this integration, so it could be a great fit for those who've already cut the cord and are using Sling. The model can manage two live TV shows at the same time or record them both as necessary, and categorize recordings in a number of ways, including single episodes or as part of a series. The Sling compatibility also means you can download the Sling TV app on your smartphone, and then access your live TV feeds directly from your mobile device. Of course, the Air TV 2 doesn't have so many advantages if you aren't using Sling. But it can still help you record and view your live shows as long as you have a set-top box as well as an HD antenna. That makes it an excellent option for adding some HDR to your cable-free home TV setup. Number 3. Amazon Fire TV Recast If you've already taken the first step toward ending your dependence on cable or satellite by buying one of Amazon's excellent Fire TV media streamers, you should seriously consider going all the way with the Fire TV Recast. It is designed to augment the Fire TV's already very comprehensive set of streaming apps, like Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, 
and Disney Plus, with free local TV and a DVR. The Fire TV recast can live almost anywhere in your home as long as it can connect to a power source and your antenna's cable, making it much easier to place your antenna where it can get the best reception. The recast then uses your home Wi-Fi network to transmit both live TV and your recordings to any Fire TV devices you have at home. You can also access the content from a mobile device using the free Fire TV app. Because the interface is handled by your existing Fire TV device, it's clean and easy to use. If you own any Alexa-enabled smart speakers like an Echo, you can control the experience with your voice, just as you can with other Fire TV functions. The best part of the Fire TV recast is that there's no additional fee for any of its features. Simply plug it in, set it up using your existing Amazon account and that's it. It comes in two versions, a 2-tuner 500GB model and a 4-tuner 1TB model, which means there is a Fire TV recast for almost any budget or household size. However, it's not as clever as a TiVo, there's no automatic recording of shows you might be interested in, no ability to skip ads with a single click, and it only works with Amazon's Fire TV streamers. But these are minor drawbacks to what is otherwise a perfect OTA DVR upgrade for those in Amazon's media ecosystem. And while the recast isn't exactly cheap, you can equip each TV in your home with access to its live and recorded content for just $30 with the new Fire TV Stick Lite. Number 2. Mediasonic Digital Converter Box If you're looking to get yourself nudged over into the world of cord cutters and OTA receiver ownership, but aren't willing to drop the heavy dough required of a robust TiVo interface, the Mediasonic ATSC may be more up your alley. In terms of hardware, there are multiple connections to get you started. Once linked into your home's antenna coaxial connection, you can output video to practically any TV in the home thanks to the box's HDM, coaxial, and composite video outputs. The included remote will net you all of the basic functions you'll need to enjoy your recordings, complete with play pause, rewind fast forward, and an option to program your favorite stations into the clicker. For recording purposes, this is where the budget handle certainly comes into play. Don't expect the automatic recording of content across multiple tuners that you'll find with some of the heavyweight OTA receivers on this list. While the Mediasonic is capable of 2 terabytes of storage, that's off of an external hard drive. As the product name suggests, the Mediasonic is also only capable of picking up and recording ATSC signals, so apologies to our NTSC hopefuls when all is said and done, though, you're simply not going to find a cheaper way into OTA viewing and recording. While the Mediasonic ATSC Digital Converter Box may lack streaming apps and an intuitive user experience, it'll definitely get the job done. Number 1. Tableau Dual Light OTA DVR For starters, the Tableau Dual Light is super easy to set up and use. Its app-based interface is clean and simple, and after a quick scan, it lets you pick which of your available channels you'd like to add to your guide instead of assuming you want them all. But the Tableau's key advantage is its ability to be placed anywhere in your home, whether that's near your TV or router. Unlike other receivers, which need to be connected to your antenna, hardwired to your router, and in some cases connected to your TV, the Tableau only needs an antenna connection and power. In fact, it has no TV output at all. Instead, Tableau streams your OTA channels to your TV via a compatible media device, like an Apple TV 4th generation or a Roku. If you have the right smart TV, you may not need an external device at all. Here's the full list of compatible devices, which is extensive and offers something for almost everyone, with the exception of PlayStation console owners, with two OTA tuners, the Tableau Dual Light can receive and record two different channels simultaneously, but you're not limited to two devices. Depending on the speed of your home network, up to six devices can watch content simultaneously. Given how many of us watch content on our phones and tablets, that's a lot of potential screens powered by a single receiver. The Dual Light doesn't come with any built-in storage, but this adds to its flexibility, you can decide how much storage you want by simply adding your own USB hard drive. Some kind of storage is required, however, even if you decide not to record shows. On its own, the Tableau will give you 24 hours of guide info and the ability to record and livestream any OTA content you can receive. For a subscription fee of $5 per month, you get 14 days of guide info, advanced recording features, and a must-have feature for frequent travelers, 
Remote view capability for access to the entire system from anywhere with a decent internet connection. You can add Tableau's premium service for $2, which enables the platform's automatic commercial skip feature. The Tableau's interface is composed of a mix of the traditional on-screen channel guide and curated, suggested content, sorted by genre, making it easy to see what's on tap. If you're the impatient sort, though, channel changes may prove frustrating since, unless you've got a very solid Ethernet connection, there's a pretty notable lag as the Tableau tunes into the new channel and starts up the stream. There's also no way to keep watching one channel while you surf the guide for something else, but that's a minor quibble for the features that you get.